Hi everyone. Welcome to Ekas Cloud Online Courses. Today, I am going to explain how to set up Terraform with AWS provider. In this topic, first we are going to see about how to access Terraform registry, how to browse providers, and how to import provider plugin into your Terraform project directory. And then uh, we are going to discuss about uh, how to open project directory by using Windows PowerShell commands. And finally, I am going to explain about how to initialize the project. First one, how to access Terraform registry. Actually, Terraform registry is a repository of Terraform modules and providers. It is a central hub where you can find pre-built infrastructure configurations for various services and platforms. By visiting https colon double slash registry dot terraform dot io, users can discover, explore and download Terraform modules and providers. Next one. How to browse providers. Once you are on the Terraform registry website, you can browse through the available providers by navigating to the provider section. There, you will find a list of various providers that enable interactions with uh, different cloud platforms such as API and services. To use the AWS provider specifically, you would search for it in the list of services or use the search functionality provided on the website. Once you locate the AWS provider, you can access its documentation, including information on how to install and configure it uh, for use with Terraform. Using the AWS provider with Terraform, allows you to define infrastructure resources such as EC2 instances, S3 buckets, IAM roles, and more using Terraform configuration files. This approach provides a convenient and consistent way to manage your AWS infrastructure as code, enabling versioning, collaboration, and automation of infrastructure deployments. And the third one, how to import provider plugin into your Terraform project directory. This one consists of three steps. First one, how to create provider.df file. To use the AWS provider in your Terraform project, you will need to define its configuration. This is typically done in a file named provider.df. Terraform configuration files. Use the Hasika configuration language HCL and they typically have a .tf extension. Second one, how to copy provider configuration blocks into the provider.tf file. You will need to copy the specific configuration blocks for the AWS provider from the Terraform registry. This configuration blocks Define the provider and its settings such as AWS access credentials and region. And the last one, how to save the files. After copying the provider configuration blocks into your provider.tf file, save the file in, into your Terraform project folder. This ensures that uh, Terraform recognizes the provider configuration when you run Terraform commands. And next one, how to use Windows PowerShell commands to open project directory. First one is navigate into the project directory. In Windows PowerShell, you use the cd command to navigate to your Terraform project directory. This is where you are provider.tf file and other Terraform configuration files are located. 
Second one is listing files. This ls command is used to display the files and directories in the current folder. This helps you verify that you are in the correct directory before running terraform commands. And the last one, how to initialize the project. Here we are going to use terraform init command. Is used to initialize the terraform project. This command prepares your working directory for terraform configuration and downloads any necessary plugins or modules specified in your configuration files. During initialization, Terraform creates a dot .terraform directory where it stores executable files and a locked file such as terraform.log.hcl to track dependencies. Now we are going to see hands-on lab to create all this Now I am going to open my browser. Here I am going to browse Terraform registry. Use the first link from terraform.io. Here you have to go search browse and select providers. Here we can find lot of cloud providers. Here I am going to use AWS. This plugin we can't install directly into our project directory. For that we have to copy the code by using this provider. To install this provider, copy and paste this code into a Terraform configuration, then run Terraform init command. Here I am going to copy this configuration code and then next step I am going to create provider.tf file in my Windows uh, Visual Studio code. Here, I am selecting this folder. This is my project directory. Here, I am going to create one provider.tf file by selecting new file provider.tf. Enter. Here, I am going to paste that configuration code and I am saving that by using control plus yes icon. And the next step, I am going to show you how to open this project directory by using Windows PowerShell commands. I am opening my Windows PowerShell. Here I am going to check the version of Terraform by using this command. Terraform space hyphen hyphen version enter. This is the latest version of Terraform v1.7.3. Here I am going to open my Terraform project by using cd command space. Here I have to enter the Path of the directory. Actually, I created it in my local C folder. I am opening my Windows C here, Terraform project. I am copying the path.
and I am going to paste this in my windows. PowerShell and I am entering it. Actually, it's worked. I am inside that project folder. Here, I am going to list my file from the current directory. Here we can able to see the provider.tf file which I was created on 20th February 2024 at 10.40 pm. Next I am going to show you how to initialize the project. For that we have to use Terraform init command init enter now the project is initializing it started installing the plugins into our project directory now we can see that terraform has successfully installed you may now begin working with terraform try running terraform plan to see any changes that are required for your infrastructure all Terraform commands should work now. It was successfully installed into our Windows machine. By following the steps, you can effectively set up a project directory by using the AWS provider and ensure that is initialized for further development or deployment. Now I am going to show my project folder here provided a tf file stored inside my project folder and dot terraform file also created in this folder and after that i here we can see dot terraform dot log dot hcl this all automatically created once we initialize the project that's all about uh, how to search for registry, how to install the provider into our project directory. And finally, I will show you how to initialize the project. We will see on the next topic tomorrow. Thank you.